Hello guys, Rachel here, Varkyologist Gaming. Today, we're going to do a short unboxing and also reviewing the OCPC Paul P1 graphics card cooling holder. Let's do the unboxing! Inside the box, you will find the OCPC Paul P1 graphics card cooling holder and nothing else. Let's go to the specifications and features. The OCPC Paul P1 graphics card cooling holder has dimensions of 104 by 50.2 by 175 millimeters. The OCPC Paul P1 is the first graphics card cooling holder. It comes in white and black and has an aluminum structure to make it light. The two fans here are 80mm fluid dynamic bearing fans with a maximum speed of 2500 rpm and maximum airflow of 34.2 cfm. At the front bottom left, you will find the product name. On the side, you will find the OCPC logo. This side will light up. As you can see, the logo moves a little, which means it's just being inserted and not pasted to the main structure. So probably you can do a little bit of modding here. As this holder is tall, it can support two graphics cards with these two supports with rubber. These are also movable to the height required. On the right side and top, it doesn't have any designs and it's just in plain black. But at the bottom, there is a slightly strong magnet that will keep the graphics card holder from moving. So you can simply attach the Pole P1 to your PSU shroud. The fans can be controlled using the 4-pin PWM connector. The RGB also can be controlled by using this 3-pin ARGB female and male connector. Let's install the graphics card holder. Here are my final thoughts. The OCPC Pole P1 graphics card cooling holder is a very unique and new accessory. I won't say there are no graphics cards holder out there, but those cooling fans make it a multi-purpose accessory. Performance-wise, it lessens the temps of my RTX 3060 Ti in 3 degrees Celsius average. It works, but for me, not that impactful enough that will make users sprint to the store and buy one. Now if you want to use a triple fan card in a mid-tower chassis, it will not fit as the space will be not enough. So, a dual fan card mostly will benefit from using this. But if you want a triple fan card, then you should go for a full tower chassis to have adequate space. Also, because of the height of the Pole P1, it may or may not be in the way of the cables of your USB 3.0 and USB Type-C cables, as it will be mostly leveled to the headers and block the way. The RGB lighting is elegant and bright to look at. It gives RGB lovers another reason to buy a new accessory to their RGB PC. Overall, the OCPC Pole P1 graphics card cooling holder is a good and unique product that is really good in this period as graphics cards are getting beefier and heavier. It really provides a solid support and adds a little bit of flair because of the RGB. There are still things to improve but as a unique product, it is solid. You can buy the OCPC Pole P1 graphics card cooling holder for around the price of $39.99 or 2,200 pesos at your nearest OCPC affiliated stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page. And see you in the next video.